visit to strengthen bilateral relations with Thailand, Australian Foreign Minister Julie Bishop touched down on Phuket for a day of firsts. The official opening of the Australian Consulate General in Phuket saw a very special visit from the third in command of the land down under. With just under a million Australians visiting Thailand, Phuket is one of the most popular destinations for Aussie tourists, and Phuket's Consulate General will be able to assist citizens not just on the island, but also in the provinces of Krabi and Pangya. Though the office has been open for just over a year, this special ceremony saw some of the country's top officials to Thailand, including Australia Ambassador to Thailand Paul Robillard, Consul General to Phuket Craig Ferguson, as well as several prominent Aussies from the local community. From one ceremony to another, Minister Bishop then made her way to Loma Park on Patong Beach. It's the launch of the first Thai language surf life-saving manual and teaching curriculum, which was supported by the Australian government's direct aid program. The manual is expected to be used in all lifeguard training sessions here in Phuket, bringing a world standard approach to the island's marine rescuers, helping save lives of swimmers and surfers around the world. Like clockwork on a busy day, we headed straight to the Amari Phuket at the south end of Patong, where Miss Bishop launched the Australian government's new Colombo Plan initiative, which supports Aussie undergraduate students to undertake internships in the Indo-Pacific region to raise knowledge in the land down under. The reception was also a way to highlight the work by Hands Across the Water, which, since 2005, has raised 20 million Aussie dollars to help children and families affected by the Asian tsunami. With the local community out and sunshine throughout much of the year, it's easy to see why Phuket has become a hub for Australians holidaying in Thailand. <music>